हेलो गाइस दिस इज ऑप्टोमेट्रिक अखिलेश कुमार नाउ ऑप्टोमेट्रिक एकेडमी वेलकम्स यू विद अ न्यू वीडियो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट डक्शंस वर्जन्स एंड वर्जेंसेस लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड आफ्टर द शॉर्ट इंट्रो The eye movements when tested uniocularly are called ductions and when tested biniocularly are called versions and vergences. First of all we are going to discuss on ductions. Ductions include the following movements adduction abduction elevation depression intorsion and extorsion. we have a 3d subject we will see all these ocular movements in it to test ductions we need to occlude one eye when an inward movement of the eye towards the nose a medial rotation along the vertical axis is known as adduction when an outward movement a lateral rotation along the vertical axis is known as abduction an upward movement or elevation along the horizontal axis is called elevation when the eye moves down along the horizontal axis is term as depression when the eye makes a rotatory movement along the anterior posterior axis such that the superior pole rotates towards the nose is known as intorsion when the eye rotates in a manner that the 12 o'clock point rotates away from the nose is term as extorsion let's move on versions ocular movements These are synchronous and symmetric movements of both eyes in the same direction. These are classified according to the direction of binocular movements as follows. Dextroversion. When both eyes are turned to the right, it is affected by a simultaneous contraction of right lateral rectus and left medial rectus muscle. Levoversion. When both eyes are turned towards left by contraction of left lateral rectus and right medial rectus. Supraversion. when both eyes are rotated straight up it is affected by a simultaneous contraction of superior rectus and inferior oblique of both eyes infraversion when both eyes are turned straight down and is caused by a bilateral contraction of inferior rectus and superior oblique muscles dextro depression when both eyes are turned down and to the right it is caused by a simultaneous contraction of right inferior rectus and left superior oblique muscle dextro elevation when both eyes are turned up and to the right it is caused by a simultaneous contraction of right superior rectus and left inferior oblique muscle levo elevation when both eyes are turned up and to the left a position achieved by a simultaneous contraction of left superior rectus and right inferior oblique levo depression when both eyes are turned down and to the left This position is brought about by a simultaneous contraction of left inferior rectus and right superior oblique. Dextrocycloversion when the eyes rotates along the anterior posterior axis so that the superior pole rotates to the right side this movement is brought about a simultaneous contraction of inferior rectus and inferior oblique muscle of the right eye and superior rectus and superior oblique of the left eye. levocycloversion a movement just opposite of dextrocycloversion let's move on vergences vergences are disjugate synchronous and symmetric movements of both eyes in the opposite direction depending upon the direction of movement vergences may be described as follows convergence it is a synchronous inward movement of both eyes brought about by a simultaneous contraction of both medial recti divergence it is a simultaneous and synchronous outward movement of both eyes brought about by a simultaneous contraction of both lateral recti vertical vergences by definition vertical vergences refers to disjugate vertical movements of the two eyes in opposite direction that is one eye should rotate upward and other downward however in practice the vertical vergences movements are classified as positive vertical divergences in which the right eye rotates upward in relation to left one and so also called as right supraversions and negative vertical divergences in which the left eye rotates upward in relation to the right one and so also called as left supraversions in practice the vertical vergence movements are said to occur in a bit to correct the vertical heterophoria 
Hence, these are also reflexive, controlled, and stimulated by retinal image disparity. Cyclovergence. Cyclovergence is the disjugate torsional movement in which the vertical meridian of the two eyes moves in opposite direction to each other. In cyclovergence is a torsional disjugate movement in which the upper end of the vertical meridian in each eye tilts towards the nose. X cyclovergence is opposite to in cyclovergence. That is, in it the upper end of the vertical meridian in each eye tilts away from the nose. Cyclovergence are also involuntary movements stimulated by retinal image disparity due to cyclophoria and thus occur in the interest of fusion to compensate for cyclophoria. That's all from this topic. Kindly subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.